Um, I, I, I would say that we would definitely be struggling. I'm not an expert on the grid, but um, I kind of see like, like from the government's point of view, they have to start somewhere. You've oh, got to I, make a start. Yeah, I, I, com I completely agree. I can, yeah, if, if you're having a heat pump installed to save you energy costs, no. If you're having an heat pump installed to save the planet, because you think you're saving the planet, you're saving the CO2. That's the that's the possibility. It's we need to we need to get the infrastructure right. We need to get the the national grid right. We need to get the heat pumps and the systems correct. And most importantly, we need the engineers to install it. I think at the moment, the engineers out there. If if the government wants to install six hundred thousand heat pumps per year, they're going to need around thirty thousand engineers to install it. There are what one hundred twenty thousand gas engineers in the UK. Average yeah. age is like me, old. So mm -hmm. the average age for a heat uh, for a gas engineer in the UK is fifty five. So you're expecting guys who are thinking about slowing down to uh, increase their workload. We need to start grassroots. We need to get apprentices on this. We need to start at the beginning and slowly work our way up. This net zero thing by 2050, why did they put a date on it? And again, people say, oh, we've got to have a starting point and a finish point. No, you can have a starting point and you can have a progression. Most businesses that succeed are the ones that have progressed, not the ones who have just started massively. I've seen this in training centres. I worked for one of the biggest training centres in Europe back in 2010, I think it was. And they literally lasted four years because they were massive from the beginning. So this is how I think heat pumps should be brought into the UK as a slow progression, not an automatic so would, Yeah. So would you, would you suggest, like, uh, if we talk about that target, net zero by, um, uh, by 50, would you suggest, like, 50% by this date? Because it's, it's always that, like, that last 5% or 10%, whatever it takes, what well, it takes a lot more work than, like, the first 50 or so. Yeah. It's getting, it's, the other thing as well is getting people on board with it, isn't it? And for, for me, the, the CO2 um, driving block of it really is the thing that makes no sense. 